I'm Isiwa, but most people call me Isi, but I prefer Isiwa. I have six, well, five beautiful sisters, and I am the baby of the family. So yes, we are six girls, no boys, I know. But it is awesome because I have sisters to talk to and tell them about my boy problems, but they're always there for me. While I was in Maryland, I interned for ABC2 News and it was the best experience of my life, hands down up to this day. I got to be on TV. Our show aired on for a whole hour and we just got to report and produce and put up packages together. So that's where my love for journalism came about. So right now, what I do in New York City is that I have my own website, I create content and I make YouTube videos and I just interview people here. I go out to shows and I just randomly just talk to people. I'm a talkative person, always talking. So I'm always just trying to build my brand and grow a network and build my platform here just so more people could know me. I go out a lot over here. I'm a big social networking person. I'm always at all the hottest shows and events. I go to Fashion Week. I go to open calls. I am literally everywhere and I love to eat. So New York is the perfect place for me to eat. I also love to just go for walks. I love to sit, like scenery is my thing. Like my dorm room has this really nice window. Any type of view I'm always taking pictures of, I love a good view. So a good walk, a good sunset, a good picnic, that is what I love to do. That is like my downtime. It makes me happy, it makes me calm. And I read a lot of books. I'm very into motivational books, inspirational books. And I'm not really into like drama or fiction. I'm more into like autobiographies. I just feel like it's a way for me to kind of build my character and make me into this woman I really want to become. And it makes me like poised and elegant. It just, I become a gentle woman when I read a book. And it's the best part of me. And I love bringing that, that out. Hi, my name is Ola Dara Ifrem, and you can call me Dio. Most people know me as Dio. Um, I was born in Jos in Nigeria, and I was born to a family of five. We are all boys in my family. My dad's a retired army officer, my mom's a nurse, and we lived in Jos for about four years before we moved to Lagos. And then I went to secondary school, I went to King's College Lagos, so Florida to every Casey boy out there who's watching right now. And um, then after high school, I said to myself, what do I really want to do with my life? Initially, I wanted to be a medical doctor. I had a thing for medicine, but that didn't work out. And then I delved into entertainment. So um, I have a friend who's from Colombia, and he reached out to me on Twitter in 2012 after he saw uh, an event I covered in Uganda. I went with Peace Square to Uganda to cover a concert and he saw it on YouTube and he reached out to me on Twitter. He's like, oh, I saw the work. It was really cool. I'm like, oh, thank you. And he was like, oh, he's a producer and everything. I'm like, oh, great. So maybe we can work together someday. And, you know, when you're ready to do something, you always have that gut feeling, you know, it's that time. I knew it was time for me to actually, you know, record something, just put it out there and test the words and see how people respond to it. So, exciting news. I recently released my first single titled Over and Over, which you can purchase or on iTunes or you can see on Spotify. The song is actually dedicated to my mom, so if you listen to the lyrics of the song, it's a little bit like, so it's about someone saying, I love you, I appreciate you, it's about my mom. So through the pain, over and over your love is a shame. Of course, um, talking about music, I have an initiative I've put together here in New York. It's called Feel the Beat, and it's uh, a page on Instagram. It's feel with the letter D. I put D because my name starts with D. I know it's a little, yeah, corny, but I like to feel the beat. So what is Feel the Beat? It's about uh, me reaching out to everyday people in New York. Um, this all started off of the G train on my way to school on a particular day. It was rush hour, and um, I remember this girl standing with... Uh, a white headphone and she was lost, like literally in her own world. And this guy was behind her trying to get on the train. He kept saying, excuse me, excuse me. And she was just there listening to her song and couldn't care until he tapped her. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I realized that a lot of people in New York tend to listen to something. I don't know if it's a way to distract yourself from what's going on around you because New York can be a little crazy sometimes. So you just need to pull into your own world. And I lived on the train and like 70% of everyone on the train had a headphone on. And I said to myself, I'd love to know what they're listening to and why they listen to what they're listening to. So Feel the Beat essentially is just me walking on the streets, reaching out to people I've never met before, 
and asking them what they're listening to as long as they have a headphone. And trust me, I've heard very inspiring stories. Music is love. But most importantly, music is feel the beat. That was so cool. Can I make sure this because I love karaoke and how to with my friends, I have had something, post Thanksgiving with my friends. So I'm going to host my friends to karaoke tomorrow, the ones I haven't seen in a while. I know most of them are in town and some people are still free, but I just want to do karaoke with my friends tomorrow. I enjoy and I love karaoke. So um, if you ever come to New York and you don't know what to do, reach out to me. We'll go do karaoke together. I'll make you love it. mutual friend and I think he just we met at her birthday party somewhere in like this Soho downtown area and I guess we just hit it off and over time we just our friends became each other's friends and we just always did stuff together okay so ladies and gentlemen we all have another very special performance it's with a very delectable Krista, and we're going to be doing Their Future Husband. Oh. All of a sudden, this whole new thing came up with the music, and suddenly the music started to take off, and then you realize, like, oh wow, like, this is a thing. Like, Nigeria is the center of this very big, important thing when it comes to music. And it's just so interesting realizing just how much of an impact and how slowly it happened. And it's actually like, kind of an oh shit moment like wow this is like Nigeria is suddenly in the center of things for something positive for a change hey do you know Jack and then there's another part where um, I forgot the other part, I forgot the other part. <laughs> but Yami, I fucking love Yami and she needs to come to New York City right now. Because people here love Nigerian music, love African culture as a whole. And we just can't wait for her to be here. So I'm so, so happy that I got to meet Dio.